Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I wanted to do a um, demo on some of the Dollar Tree Craft Square products, including this Jot, whatchamacallies, stickers, uh, post-its. I'm going to grab these other ones too. And they have this, these two. So let's start with this. These are really cool, I think. Um, I'm going to do a project with this also in a cupping, cupping, in a coming video. So somebody asked, I'm going to, I'll put her name down below. I'm sorry I don't remember it right now. But she asked nicely if I would just kind of show how they stick. So we'll do that. I really have a... Seems sticky. They're lightly sticky, I would say. Really cute though. Uh -oh. I think they're pretty sticky, but I'm not sure what kind of use you'd have, you know. They're lightly sticky. I'd say very lightly, actually. They're no 3M, but they're so pretty. So I think if you wanted it to be permanent, you know, definitely put your own tape on the back, but as far as it holding up, not sure about that. You know, like if you're in an office situation or whatever, or if you wanted to put it in your planner and keep it there and then move it around, it's probably going to not last very long. But they're pretty. So that's that. I love these, though. They're so cute. I did notice some of the, um, these are off a little bit, but not cute. So there's those. There's those. And these, you know what I might just use? Well, I do want to do the, this thing. I grabbed some die cut and I want to cut these. Gotta cut that with my other scissors. And these are my favorite, of course. Although I do have the new tonic ones, the little tonic ones. Well, they're little. Cut nice. They're short though. I think they'd work fine for detail. There's something not real happy with the there's no weight to it at all for 
or whatever that means to you. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're kind of flimsy. But they cut just fine, but, you know, I mean, I like a longer... Oops. These were actually cutting better. You know? So then we can do this. This I'll use a lot with the Xyron because it's, you know, especially like this, I'll run this through so you can kind of see. Yeah, this will be a better test. Because these intricates get all the glue in there in the holes. And you gotta get that out. That's what this baby's for. Pretty good. This is, um, well, I don't know if it's the same as, um, like rubber cement. Seems more molded plastic. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nothing left. Little teensy bits. There. So that's good. That works great. Okay. That works. Then we'll pop some stuff up. <clears throat> now these work. I do find with the Dollar Tree pop dots or their um, strip mounting foam that the paper is really hard to get off or whatever you want to call this stuff. See there, I kind of don't like to fight with them. Kind of nice that they're a little movable. So this is the true test. Getting the papers off. Yeah, see. These are way little too. I don't like this. Oh, the size. They're coming off okay, but I'd rather I like bigger size. Unless it's needed. <clears throat> Let's 
could hold. So these are good. Worth the buck. Especially if you like these smaller, teeny, tiny. I need a little baby to work with me and they can do this little stuff. A little toddler, little tiny fingers. Okay, so there's that. Then we're gonna try the stylus. There's our pokey tools. There's two sizes, which is nice. But, um, like, I think Tim Holtz, his pokey tool is probably, mine's just, like, destroyed. So I have been wanting to get a new one. <clears throat> but, I don't know what I could poke. I don't know. I'll poke these things. Um, they feel about the same. Yeah, yeah, they work. That one's kind of deadly. stayed on it. And then we have this is probably the thinnest um, paper ever. Yeah, I'll stick with my bone folder. That's to me is too thick. Let's see how the stylus is. And this is good for like, you know, when you make um, flowers and you want to curve them on that. This would be very small, like really small flowers. Hmm. Well, that's the paper's too thin for that. This seems really kind of richy. Yeah, I think for these I'd stick with name brand if you can afford it. If not, the stylus pokey tools work fine. I'm not positive about this. That just seems really wide, you know, compared to the bone folder. Uh, about like about three times wider than a bone folder so that's you know eh, I'd kind of not use that for a bone folder this will probably be fine for doing flowers I don't like how it leaves all these ridges so and it is the paper too I don't have anything here That's better. Yeah, it could just be the paper. But it is thick. It's a thick um, thingy you're going to get. All right, so that's my take on some of this crafts, um, crafter square. Uh, it's a good value if you like how it works. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.